representing Colombia. Originally, Carlos Valderrama had been named to the side. A lot of changes for this friendly. And there is the man. I think you'd have to equate that man, Ronaldo, with the position that Roberto Baggio was in at this point four years ago. Well, and guess what? They made him captain, Bob. Isn't that nice? That shock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has the armband of the captain, and he will, we all hope, be, of course, the impact player for the World Cup on any eight, but... You know, one of the great things about the World Cups is there always is a surprise. There's always some player that comes out of the pack, as you mentioned uh, before. Baggio did a great job, but uh, there have been some terrific players. Paolo Rossi among them for Italy, and uh, who knows who will come out of the pack this time to get us excited about World Cup 98. Top of Bulgaria, number seven. Zidane of France, the number ten, and you hear the reaction. Zinedine Zidane ahead. To the right side to Lakatus inside. Would have him trouble, no back on it. Go right off the bat, Mario Lakatus. World side, number seven, Nakata of Japan. Ronaldo at the halfway line. He has Salimi making a run, tries to throw both sides. His Buskic, number 11, was on that ball. Is it done with the ball to the right side? That's Heimel Pfeifenberger of Austria. An overlap. Now Europe back on it. Zidane eludes what was an attempted tackle. Alakoff, Boskic, number 11, the SPN2, Ronaldo, 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 onto the stage for the presentation later. Well, Ronaldo combining there, getting a nice pass in from Batistuta, and look at him just accelerate away from people, finding the space in which he can release the shot, but the ball came up off the ground just as he swung on it. And that means, of course, he skies it inward. <laughs> Midfield defense, uh, a purely imaginative experience. Bukstic, the main force coming is the draw. Salimi, as Ronaldo puts it wide. Tunisia, inside for Batistuta, for Ronaldo in the box. Ronaldo, over the top. But there again, he see the great skill of Ronaldo, not in the finishing so much, but in his elusiveness and his ability to find the space. Look at him get in between two players here, turn and let the ball roll, perhaps a bit too wide, as it's been early because uh, they had to make the decision early as to who would come from Mexico, and the playoffs on down there, and they couldn't release some of the perhaps more well-known stars. And as I said, they, it's not just all about offensive fireworks here. They, they want to be embarrassed. Ronaldo has some room. Batistu Lini making a run. You see there Diavolo dispossessed and uh, we've had a foul call. Yeah, obstruction foul on, <laughs> on Zidane. All the pressure on this young man who was on the Brazilian side in 1994 but did not play, has a winner. It's pretty good passing here, a good control. Not a lot of physical challenges we mentioned. Uh, there's on it now for the world team. And all things seem to flow amazingly for the captain Ronaldo in these moments. Diavola looking to return to Ronaldo. Speaking in French, his language is a Cameroonian, but all sorts of them in Marseille, France, along with Seamus Mel and I'm Bob Lee, the world all-star match, Ronaldo. Right, oh, tough, tough rebound for Kupke off the pitch. And to follow this match, the final, the Italians finalists in 94, losing on penalty kicks to the Brazilians. Ronaldo. Controls that ball. Batistuta ahead of him. Diavola to his right. Diavola through ball onside. Diavola! And a goal for the Colombian from Major League Soccer. And the man who replaced the irreplaceable Valderrama gets an assist from Ronaldo. And you saw another player up front. That was Batistuta who was walking away to stay onside. And Diavola... Keeps very calm and slots it over the ankles of Kepka as he came out. A little toe poke through there, but Diavola runs through nicely. Keeps his eye on the ball, watching the keeper now to see where he might go. And then it's just a little flick over his legs as the keeper committed. Kepka went down and Diavola... In a game that figured to have some offense, and yes, we have seen it. Again, Ronaldo. This time watched by his opposite numbers have done. Also talking some more with Eric Ronaldo and getting their perspective on the job at hand in France 98. It will be difficult. Ronaldo, Diavola to the right side now. Nakata, and there is Kaka, the putter of the World Cup as a player in 974 and a winner as a coach in 90, twice a champion. 
And the days go by. France thinning. Zidane plays it wide. Mario Batistuta, Diavola, Ronaldo. Look at that one touch passing. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. In the box. And a goal. next summer under very different circumstances well uh, but Ronaldo has put one in and the, the great skill of Ronaldo not just in finishing this time but the great fake he makes inside you know watch the little swivel he makes inside to set up the defender there's the fake inside now he's got a little bit of room on the outside to make the shot and he buries it exactly where they tell you in the clinic at the far post but the little inside fake was what froze the defender for just a minute, who's Hierro, who's no stiff as a defender, but he went for it, and Kepka could not protect the far post. Yep, terrific finish. <laughs> Everyone is here who is anyone in the soccer at the draw. The World's Cup itself is spread out throughout France, and we'll sent right back into the far post by Lagatouche, and volleyed high and out. Well, Zidane thought he would put one in for the crowd there, and instead he put one into the crowd. Not able to get over the top of this. But if that had gone in, you would have heard a roar in this stadium like we haven't heard so far tonight. Out is here to see the world's best and then the drama of the draw. Behind Bernal, not possibly taking the Saudis to World Cup 98 as the national coach. A lot of intrigue, a lot of jobs being shopped. And a foul whistle as Ronaldo was taken down. Costa Curta with the call. Well, we may see that battle this summer, Costa Curta. Zidane. Malakoff. Zidane. Kleibert, but the ball skitters to Pfeifenberger on the right side. Tackle there, throw in. Risky to him, I mean, because yeah. in that kind of tackle, you can get an injury sliding in with the uh, the wrong foot. A cup tie atmosphere here. The long ball. Zidane. Looks for Boxic. There's Kleiber in the box. Good half touch in this match in the box. And now, Batigo Batistuta for Ronaldo. The captain with his fluorescent armband has one goal. Batistuta, goal! Goal. 3 1. What an exhibition for Andreas Kepka. It's not often he picks the ball out of the net three times in half an hour, but he's had to do it against this incredible finishing skill of Ronaldo and Batistuta. Not even a touch, not a touch to set it up. Just a first time confident inspired blast into the, into the penalty area, Bob and C. Eight players from the opponents on attack. It's fun, though, and that's so what this great. match is supposed to be, Ronaldo. Too much pace on that lead towards back defensively as well. Yeah. Or cutthroat. Yeah. The money at stake now is astounding, as we said. Ronaldo, the man on the ball, transferred for $28 million last summer with Steve Sampson about his formal appointment to the job. Get some reaction from Eric Ronaldo, too, on the delay in the official announcement for Sampson's hiring. Kleibert put away by Bernal and a whistle as Bernal commits the foul on Patrick Kleibert. On the restart, Zidane, Boksic. There in the form of Nebet, who frustrated this man, Zidane. Ne Pfeifenberger, as Ronaldo. Precision on passes, not necessarily tonight. Diavola with a touch saying, and the United States, of course, if you sit back at midday. Europe. Patrick Kleibert there with his first really good shot on goal. It's, he's a big question for Holland this year. Head to it. Diavola. Now Romario. With Silimi to his left. What will Romario do? The goal and two assists so far. Gets it back from Batistuta. A oh. through ball, Batistuta. Outside of the goal. know if this performance will get him back into Daniel Passarella's lineup, but it's certainly thrilling a world audience tonight. Well, I look at Bernal's congratulate Ronaldo, as they know who made this goal. There's the ball for three. Very definitely is onside when the ball is released to him. 
And Kepka, with no chance, has got to reach uh, back into the net, fish it out for the fourth time. But a little scoop pass over the top, the one touch, and then the cracking half volley. Just too powerful for Kepka to do anything work for 40 minutes so far. Paul Ince with that ball. Now the through ball for Box. It's in the box. Save Zango comes out. It's behind him. Immediately to Ronaldo, but Fernando Hierro of Spain nearly overrun, and Ronaldo takes it away. He has Cellini to his left. There is Ronaldo, who is making this game his own. Leaves it for Diavola. Did not in French soccer. Ball for Lacatou. Sango is out. His pass was uncharacteristically inaccurate. Ronaldo again. Will he shoot this time rather than just create this possessed? But there is Cellini. Cellini. Off the post. Well, these players, of course, all have important matches coming up for their clubs this weekend. And now a break for the world side. Batistuta, the keeper is out. Ronaldo heads it ahead. The goal is empty. But not the score sheet. Ronaldo. All right. I think what we're hearing now is the crowd saying, take him off and bring on Ronaldo. We <laughs> At this point, we've seen enough of this. The Europeans are not amused. The uh, rest of the world crowd having a lovely night. But look at this. Kupka comes out, but he's not going to hurl himself at this. <laughs> he dives right by Not it. tonight. Not, not in tonight. this match. No way. Uh, no way. And Ronaldo sticks his head in and then, of course, finishes it. A little head touch away, but interesting uh, piece of acrobatics by Kupka there. Adding a little uh, comedy to this, but it's not too funny to be down 5-1. Ronaldo with the goal. He has two and three assists. Paul Ince with that ball. European side now wanting to get something going. They scored first, and it's been all-world team, principally that man on the ball since then. Three assists, two goals for Scotland and Slavisa Jokanovic. And we will see those substitutions. We, we talked about an offensive game, but... We talked about the pressure on this man at the top of the show and the expectations for next summer, and he's just given you the beginning of a taste of what he can bring to a game. Well, sure, it's not a competitive game, but you can just see the class that oozes out of Ronaldo and the wonderful thing, too, about the combination abilities of Latin American players, even if they haven't seen each other, even if they're unfamiliar. And this man has got to do some serious thinking if he wants to have some kind of a comeback in the second half. Lakatus of Romania scoring for Europe and then Diavola, Ronaldo, Batistuta, Batistuta and Ronaldo and all three non-Ronaldo goals, if you will, assisted by the Brazilian superstar. Well, well I'm <coughs> hanging with you, so I, I've learned a petit peu. And we are set to go. And, Ooh, Bob, that's well, all I'm concerned about for you in Marseille. And you cannot get a bad meal in this town. Ronaldo, Zidane, number 10, through ball from Denmark you saw him in US Cup back in January against the United States tried to get it to Zidane but a goal kick and the French fight well that's the keeper we just saw Ruiz Diaz uh, let's see if this was a goal kick well it seems to be uh, <clears throat> player in blue for the Royal All-Stars Ronaldo still in the match to the delight I would think of billions literally blue clad world all-stars just trying to feel each other out and get together as a team not everyone trained yesterday by any stretch of the in the j-league they've had those beginnings of conversation that ball is onside Zidane Zidane over the top what a good run by Zidane to get around the back and the ball catches him beautifully he makes a pretty good trap of a difficult ball and now he's uh, obviously going to try to whack it up high near post not a bad target area. Right into the lens. Always a good idea if you're going to go near post to try to go high. Difficult for the keeper to make a fast reaction high. Femi. Ronaldo. Hey. Zidane now, the captain for Europe. To Balakov. On his a tough, tenacious defensive midfielder playing in the back four tonight. Zidane deflected to the six. There is some defense now going on in midfield. Ronaldo now in the midfield pulling it ahead. Summer. Lacatus with Zidane in front of him. Through ball for Zidane. In the box. Taken down. Corner kick. Yeah, no penalty given there. The hometown hero trying to win something out of this. But uh, I'm not so sure he didn't stumble rather than get hit. 
As you see the challenge coming in there. I might have stepped on the side of his foot, though, as you see the replay. Lakatus on the corner. Brought down by Cellini, but Zidane wins the ball. Lakatus with a cross. With Ronaldo to the left. He's got Eric Ronaldo ahead of him on the left side. With Ronaldo of Brazil, Batis to the... But, uh, you, you, and what about in 10 minutes when I ask you that question? <laughs> but there's no question that if you're Ronaldo and your option is Batis Tuta or Ronaldo, I think you know which way... ...in North American Soccer League, a manager who won the World Cup, a player who won the World Cup, and still one of the great figures in this sport. Ronaldo with Batis Tuta again, through ball! Eric Ronaldo! Eric Ronaldo! Save! But a nice ball once again, sir, through by you-know-who, Ronaldo, and... Almost a scrum for it at the 18. Zidane! What can he do? Zidane! Deflection! LeBou, the goal for the Frenchman. <laughs> and so the national hero has delivered. Well, he keeps very calm here as the keeper comes out. He waits, he commits the keeper down, and then he opens up a space for himself. But what a narrow angle, and eventually he manages to crash it in off a lunging defender from the tightest of angles. Good piece of finishing by Zidane. After we saw at the other end, uh, not so great uh, piece of uh, finishing attempt by Ronaldo. And substitutions during the flow play. Ronaldo comes on, Dion Burton, virtually his lookalike comes on. In fact, Dion has been nicknamed Ronaldo, but the Stuta is coming off the pitch. And South Africa thrilling the world with the way that they have qualified. Ronaldo, I think that's a full night's work. I, I believe they got their money's worth. Five to two, it's a bit more competitive. From Dion. Ronaldo, get a little bit of uh, sustenance on the bench. And also sign an autograph. He was signing autographs as he came out for the second half. The photographers, soccer means to the people of Brazil. Zidane of France, the number 10, the captain. Feifenberger, picked up by Nayeti with the cross. Margas got the head to it, but will not include his countryman, Pelé. Zinedine Zidane, number 10 of France. He has one goal. Well, the rumors are even in the French uh, papers as of this morning. Balakov, Zidane, Zidane. Tried the lob. Well, if the other team was away with the ball, lifting it ahead. 73rd minute at the Stade de Velodrome in Marseille on ESPN2. And now the free kick for the world side. For a goal kick. Jumanovic brought it inside, and Anthony broke it up. Some delegate one touching there. And got a reminder down the road for Major League Soccer's All-Star Weekend from Disney's Wide World of... Zidane, the hometown hero, but a cross pull down by Ruiz. Well, Olympic Marseille fans can't complain about his not getting the ball enough. The world will hold its breath. Zidane, that's onside. The cross... Right at the six, picked off. Lead, and then back on there. Luis Diaz comes off to pull it down with Zidane in front on the flick on by Boxic. Well, Zidane touches it on. Saturday, they play Manchester United in Liverpool. And full time by negotiation in at midfield. Our referee Gilles Vizier of the world defeating Europe 5-2. to two. Ronaldo, with the pressure of next summer on him, can look back finally, I guess, on this night as a night when he gave the world a bit of a taste. Well, it's a great idea to have a match here for the draw, and you might say that they each won a half, but uh, it, was a tr it was a treat indeed to see some terrific players, including this man, Zinedine Zidane, getting around the defense and then just sort of cracking it in off a defender lurking near the post. And this man, of course, uh, doing all the show, and you could dive every which way you possibly can, but there was just no way to stop Ronaldo. Had a terrific uh, opportunity several times. And this goal, I think, was really the goal of the match in the sense that he put a great fake on and then just buried it, as all strikers must do in the far corner. The draw is next. So much more.